Now the purpose of this video is to connect and set up Tether Pro for a Nikon D70 camera. Tether Pro currently does not list the Nikon D70 as a camera that it will use, but it will allow taking pictures and seeing the picture, but some of the control features, of course, do not work. So here's how we go about it. Start Tether Pro. And also I have to have a Nikon to transfer. So now we're going to create. And uh, I do astrophotography. So I'm going to set it up for that. We're going to do basic. Where would you like to store your project? Well, I'm going to store it on the uh, PC. And I'm going to do Tether Pro. I've already set up these folders. My backup images would be the backup folder there. I'm going to say that. Next, and I'm going to hit finish. Now you can set up groups and so forth, which uh, go into more detail. And I have already learned that uh, I'm going to have to click on all drivers, not uh, Nikon or Windows, just all drivers. Of course, you turn on your camera. which I'm doing now, and it is connected via USB from the camera to the uh, computer. Camera is connected, so it does connect to the D70. Close and save. Now, what I have found out, currently I have a uh, old Nikon film camera lens connected. The lens has adjustable f-stops. However, I have learned that if I change the f-stop to, to less than this, or to any other ones, by turning the f-stop ring, I get an FEE -E blinking notice on my camera's top LCD screen. So I'm going to turn it back to 22. And if I change it with a dial, a feature on the camera, for the f-stop, it gives me f-stop changes on the LCD screen on the camera, but nothing lower than 5.6. Now, if I put a uh, different lens on, I'm going to snap out the lens and say I put on my lens that is for digital cameras. which does not have an f-stop ring on the lens. And I'm going to disconnect the camera and reconnect it again.
Now the camera is connected and I have the uh, digital lens on it now. So you can adjust this right here to change the f-stops and it says it'll go down to 3.5 and it is showing 3.5 on my LCD screen. I'm going to turn my dial on my camera to see if it'll change. I'll be darned, it changes the f-stop changes to the same as my cameras. So the f-stop lowest or the open most open setting for the blades is uh, 3.5 which is what you want for astrophotography. So the point is the film camera f-stop changes I have discovered will not go that low even though the f-stop on the camera lenses the manual the ring will go lower but it won't go lower than f5 point whatever it was so with a digital camera lens on I am going to see how much light we can get in. I'm, you can't focus automatically. I'll click it, but it won't. I don't think it does anything. I got manual focus turned off. I mean, turned on anyway. So here we are. The camera does not do live view. The bub mode is showing that it'll exposure for five seconds. I'm going to go down to three seconds and I'm going to let it take two shots. So I'm going to click on open shutter and it did click. So that is the picture and for uh, three seconds that is, uh, as you can see, it's out of focus. So we'll delete those. Oops, I didn't delete it. Well, I'll have to delete it another way. All right, let's go to, so it, that let in a lot of light. And it was out of focus. I'm gonna try it again. And we're gonna change the shutter speed to two. The only issue I see with using this for astrophotography is that it takes so long for the camera pictures to load up and look at to see if you're in focus. So that focus is a little better. Let's see what happens when we change the f-stop back to here. We're going to reject them.
take some time getting used to the software. All right, let's go back to standard. Let's change it to eight. Leaving it two seconds, cut down the amount of light. And you can see it, it's working on the digital camera lens. We'll pause the video. I put on another film lens, not digital. And we're going to do a create this time. We're going to do, uh, let's go to advanced. What would you like to call the new program? All right, let's, let's call it uh, astrophotography. Where would you like to store the project? Well, we can go browse. And uh, let's go to uh, let's go to this PC, go to pictures, and let's see if I got a folder for the Nikon. I got Nikon transfer, and I don't want that. So we'll make a new folder under pictures and call it Nikon D70. That one, we'll say OK. Would you like to, where would you like to store the backup images? Well, let's go create a folder in the uh, pictures folder under Nikon. And we'll call it backup. Go to next. Would you like to confirm each transfer image is added to the project? Uh, let's do yes. Next. Which image would you, with with image image uh, with each image, what you want to move to? And we'll browse to the special folder under pictures let's do an icon I'd like to do leave it as original next reject what would you like to do if I reject it I don't want it I'll probably have never used the maybe, but um, just in case. Please 
please create at least one group of your images by clicking on the add content. Okay, let's group. Uh, let's call the group uh, Astro X. Would you like a rule for each image that is added to this group? No. Next. And we click finish. Finish. Options. I turn the camera on. And we go connect. and save bring up the thing all right so now we have a film camera lens that has an adjustable f-stop which we've already discussed doesn't work and, uh, and we'll adjust the f-stop on the LCD screen first as low as I can get it And on this particular lens, it's f4.5. F and if I rotate the, the ring, I again get the FEEE -E -E bleaking notice. So I have to put it back. I believe it's on F22. So according to the chart, it's an f 4.4 and I got it on my picture and I think I'm focused let's cut let's cut the time down to two seconds let's cut that down to, to two Wow, it's got a lot of light coming in, two seconds. All right, let's just reject those pictures. Okay. Let's change the uh, f-stop to say 10, two seconds. And it's reading 10 on my LCD screen on my camera, so that's working. So changing the f-stop to let less light in helped on the picture. So the f-stop is working on the film camera. So that's basically how you connect everything on a Nikon D70. Now this program probably works really well with cameras listed that it is supposed to work with. Uh, I use Nina with my Canon EOS 60DA DSLR 
for astrophotography, but Nina does not recognize the D70. So this is another software that will work my old Nikon D70 DSLR. I hope this was informative for some. Um, I just couldn't find any videos online on how to set it up and use it. Like I said, if you have a camera that's compatible and it with this program, I'm sure all the features would work, the live view and all the other stuff. But for my D70, my main purpose is to use its 300 millimeter zoom lens uh, but it will take longer taking pictures than the, using Nina with my Canon. I also use a ZWO with Nina but for wide shots I have to use my uh, DSLRs with camera lenses.